Hey guys, we're going fishing off the charter boat tomorrow, the new sea or the sea wolf uh, in Farallon Islands, I think. And decided to make the video today or the intro part because tomorrow I just want to get straight into fishing and I won't have time. But I'm going to show you what we're going to be using tomorrow. Um, I went to my local store, the Outdoor Pro Shop. Great place to go if you know about it, then you know. If you don't, it's a, it's a one stop shop. Um, it's a little pricey, but they have everything you need and it's all reliable. I got some of their shrimp flies I'm gonna try out. Um, I'm really excited to throw this all pitbull, pitbull tackle jig head, pitbull uh, swim bait, big hammer. They have a bunch of different colors. They got the chartreuse that apparently Cabazons love. This has uh, just a link called killer right here. These orange ones that are look amazing. I did throw this once on another charter boat and I got the tails all bitten up and then they also got their their killers I think that's what they're called these look gnarly but I was told that oh yeah I got there's some bites on this one too I don't know if you can tell right at the tip of the tail but I'm gonna throw all this tomorrow I got some underwater footage for you hopefully and we'll see how all this goes yeah look at this bad boy Things, I feel this one's gonna be the winner. But see you there.
back home. I already filleted the other like 20 fish. I got like the vermilion, I got like three vermilions, four actually, a mix of each. I got a couple olives and a few canaries between me and my brother. That's 20 fish. Three link cod, one of them on a on a pit bull tackle uh, or pit bull swim bait. I have some underwater footage of that. You're gonna love that. Um, well, I mean, you already saw that actually. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to fillet. I'd like to take my time with the with the link cods and how to fillet them. Just going down the spine. And it's a little uneven I'm doing this in the backyard, but do what you can. I just follow that their fins all the way down. And make sure you have a sharp knife. Once you have that first cut all along that spine, you can cut right behind the gills. Let's see if I'll turn this. No. up to the top of the head, down the body. And since I'm filleting it, I don't really need to gut it, but I will anyway see if it ate anything. I know some guys out there, I know I like to know what, what the fish has been eating. I'm sure a couple of you are the same. So once you have that, just slowly go down the spine, pulling back the skin, or pulling back the meat. If you hear that, it's just it's the knife following the bones. That's what you want to hear. Just follow that down. I'm not a pro at this, but I try. So once you get down here, you can take your knife, cut the tail end. It'll be a little easier to see exactly where your knife has to go. And so the bones, they have one like long spiny or spinal cord, and it kind of does this little bump. So once you get over that bump, you want to put down. You want to put your your knife down that that bump again, and just follow those bones all the way down. Because if you don't, and you just cut straight through, you're gonna be missing a lot of meat. Some people cut through the rib cage. I kind of try to cut around it because I mean, even if I cut through it, I still gotta get those bones out. It'll be the same thing. And then some people like the belly meat. I'm not too big of a fan of it. But if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. All right. Probably butchered it, but there's one filet. I'll take the skin off in a bit. <sighs> it should look like that. You should see 
nothing but bone on your fish. Now I'm going to show you how to take off the skin real quick. Let me see if I can switch. Okay. Yeah. For the skin part, it took a while. Some people rip it off, but it took a while for me to learn this. But at the bottom, you can make a little cut and then with your fingers put pressure put downward pressure try to get the cut the knife under the meat and then with your left hand depending if you're right or lefty pull the skin in your right hand kind of just stays in place and your left hand kind of just does all the work every now and then lift the meat up make sure you're not cutting into the meat in just the skin Take some practice. If I were you, I'd do this with a smaller fish. But I didn't. It's pretty good. Not too bad. And now it's skinless. Later, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut in the, the pin bones and make it boneless. And now I have my lead cod fillet. Let's get the rest of these done. <laughs> Got a quick little shout out to myself. I made some masturbator shirts. Um, still not really for sale, just kind of testing out um, and trying to figure out companies or where to go, try to get these shirts and logos made better. But yeah, this is hopefully soon to come. Something you guys can look forward to. I got the symbol here in the front, right by the, right by the chest, and I got this bigger blown up in the back. And I got all different colors as well, but You'll hear about more about that later.